Hi, I'm John Anderson, North American Product Specialist for the 3D Disto. Here we have the 3D Disto sensor head. When we come out to a job site, there's two ways that we're going to set the unit up to operate it. The first way that we can set the unit up is we can bring in a traditional tripod that has 5 8 11 thread on the bottom and mount the unit to a tripod. The second way that we can operate the unit is we can simply set the unit on the floor or on the table or anything stable and use the unit from that position. The key factor when we set the unit up is to ensure that the bubble level is within the black vial indicating that we're within four degrees of level. As long as the bubble is inside the black circle, the unit will compensate for whatever angle and fully operate at that point. Now that we've got the unit set up, our bubble is within the black circle, we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on. There's only one button to turn the unit on and turn the unit off. It's up on the top of the unit. It's a red button. We're going to go ahead and press the red button. We're going to get two indicator lights. We're going to get an orange one and a green one. Initially on the setup, it's going to start the calibration procedure. The orange is going to flash and the unit's going to spin around and self-level. When it has completed this task, then the green indicator light will start to flash, which is our indicator that the 3D Disto is ready to go and operate. While this is doing this procedure, it will turn and move as it does its internal calibrations. The last thing that's on the unit is this piece right here, which is where the infrared remote operates through and is also an aspect of the Wi-Fi antenna. This process generally takes 25, maybe 30 seconds. When it's done, the green indicator light will come on, letting us know it's ready to go. Now that we have the green indicator light flashing on the top, the 3D Disto has leveled itself and is ready to go to work. Again, we can fully grab a hold of the unit, turn the unit, move it around to fine tune and adjust where we want our laser to be aimed, including grabbing a hold of the head, the laser module in the metal, moving it up, moving it down. If we want to adjust it and move it on the job site manually versus with the servo motors, and the control unit. Provided we do not shake the unit or move it on this tripod, the unit will be just fine. If you shake the unit or move it on the tripod, it will sense that movement and it will re-level itself from that point on. 